orbit. Beyond the blue. I have a friend, whose name is not important, since he is a flat earther. He also believes, that global warming is a hoax, and Australia, does not exist. Okay, let's assume for a second, that the earth is flat, let's also assume, that global warming is a hoax. But how does he not believe, that Australia exists? His wife is an Australian for crying out loud. People like him baffle me. People like him, is why aliens don't visit us. I am pretty sure Oumuamua, which might have been an alien spacecraft, was on its way towards our planet, but then they heard my friend, and were like, nope, we are not going in there. Trust me when I say this, this friend of mine, could even tell the aliens, that they are not real. Imagine traveling thousands of light years to come to Earth, only to leave with existential crisis. Yes, that's what stupid people can do to you. You must be wondering, why is this guy talking about his friend? Well, I often think about him, when I think of our species. If we were to ever establish contact with aliens, my friend, and other flat earthers, around the globe, will need to keep quiet. Ah, the first contact. Gives me goosebumps every time I think about it. It's like Graham Bell picking up the telephone, and saying hello, for the first time. But, how will we make the first contact? Hoping aliens would come visit us, is highly unlikely. Our only hope, lies in radio signals. But what if we take that a notch higher, and think like aliens? What if radio signals, is very primitive for an advanced alien civilization? Have you heard about photons? Photons are fundamental subatomic particles, that carry the electromagnetic force, or, in simpler terms, they are light particles, and so much more. In fact, as you are watching this video, you are glowing, weakly, faintly, but glowing nonetheless. Chemical reactions within your body, besides liberating energy, and producing heat, are also emitting small numbers of photons, the elementary particles of light. What's also interesting, is that photons are massless, so they move at the speed of light, in vacuum. According to a recent study, photons, or particles of light, may be transported over interstellar distances, without losing their quantum nature, and these kinds of messages could be utilized by extraterrestrials, to contact Earth. Ah, now we are talking. Something a Type 1 alien civilization would do. Researchers believe that quantum transmissions, may be a means for communicating with extraterrestrials, and they urge scientists, searching for evidence of extraterrestrial life, to examine these signals. A theoretical physicist claimed in the study, that it is plausible that intelligent alien life uses quantum communication, a technology that scientists on Earth, are also striving to develop at the moment. A technique that uses quantum particles to carry any kind of information, has recently been the focus of several investigations and experiments, conducted all over the world. The issue of decoherence, which affects quantum communication on Earth, causes the particles to occasionally lose their strength, after interacting with their surroundings. However, decoherence is considerably less likely to occur, when communicated at an interstellar distance, which is why quantum communication may hold the secret, to detecting signals from extraterrestrial civilizations. Particles are expected to travel much farther in space, than on Earth, due to the lower average density of matter outside Earth. Having said that, scientists have started working on a system, called Earth-based quantum communication, which transmits data using quantum particles. It is claimed that quantum communications, have the potential to be more secure than the conventional forms of communications, like emails, which I never reply to, be it from my wife, or anyone else for that matter. On a serious note though, we have spent years since the WOW signal was detected, to find radio signals from alien worlds. We keep getting strange fast radio bursts here and there, but nothing conclusive. 
Imagine an alien civilization trying to contact us, by blowing buffalo horns. Maybe that's their equivalent for our radio signals. Maybe our ways are primitive. Imagine an alien civilization trying to communicate with us by utilizing light particles, encoded with a secret code. This is not a science fiction question, nope. The argument for including quantum communication in our hunt for alien life, is really made at the center of a recent study. Quantum communication, transmits encrypted messages from point A to point B, using the characteristics of quantum physics. For all we know, aliens might already have mastered this technology. The current quest for extraterrestrial life, has been centered on identifying techno-signatures from alien worlds, for more than 60 years. A group of link projects known as SETI, Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence, are hunting for intelligent life outside of our solar system. But the problem is, that radio transmissions have been the main focus of SETI. But now that humans have developed quantum communication between earthly cities, it would be worthwhile to search for these encrypted communications, outside of our solar system as well. The first long-distance quantum communication landline, was launched in China in 2017, and connects the country's capital, with the seaside city of Shanghai. A distant alien society that is just slightly more sophisticated than humans, may have already developed the capacity, to send encrypted information through photons, even though quantum communication hasn't fully taken hold on Earth. Some scientists are concerned, that by decoding a quantum communication, humanity will expose Earth to an evil alien civilization, and they might come looking for our resources, like Trump and Putin. I honestly believe, that if someone is communicating through quantum technology, they may already be aware of our presence. The risk of exposing humanity by intercepting an encrypted code, whereby the sender would know that the signal was intercepted, does not really make a difference at this point. It's like a child closing their eyes and trying to hide. Or, even better, like my friend, whose name is not important, since he is a flat earther, and does not believe in Australia. Goodness? How can someone not believe in a whole continent? I will never understand this, but then again, what do I know? Beyond the Blue.